Today we are going to talk about calcium colmodulin cascade. Calcium is a universal second messenger. Uh, acts as a mediator of stimulus response coupling in the regulation of diverse cellular functions. In the absence of a stimulus, cytosolic calcium concentration in plant cells is maintained at a concentration of approximately 100 nm. But in response to variety of stimuli, including light, gravity, abiotic or biotic stresses and hormones, this cytosolic calcium concentration in plant cells is rep uh, rapidly elevated via an uh, increased calcium influx. This change in concentration causes the colmodulin to sense the calcium ions, then bind them and initiate further signal transduction. Now, what is this colmodulin? Colmodulin is a small acidic protein present in all eukaryotes. It is the predominant calcium receptor and one of the best characterized calcium sensor in eukaryotes. Generally, Colmodulin is a cytosolic protein. However, colmodulin has been found in nucleus, in the peroxisome, or even in the extracellular matrix. Plants have a greater number and more diversified colmodulin binding proteins than animals do. Now, before starting with the calcium colmodulin cascade, I will tell you a little about calcium and colmodulin. Calcium is a crucial for uh, numerous biological functions in plants including structural integrity of uh, the cell wall and uh, the membrane system in addition it has been shown to act as an intracellular regulator in many aspects of plant growth and development high calcium concentrations in the cell can be toxic to uh, cellular energy metabolism so transient elevation in cytosolic calcium concentrations occur via an increased calcium influx and a rapid return to the basal level by calcium efflux in response to variety of stimuli right including hormones light gravity uh, abiotic biotic stresses or uh, interactions with pathogens and uh, symbionts etc so these calcium pulses are briefly available to act as cellular signals and exert changes in cellular functions. Colmodulin. The colmodulin family is a major class of calcium sensor proteins and play a crucial role in cellular signaling cascades through the regulation of numerous target proteins. This protein is known as colmodulin because it is a calcium modulated protein that plays a vital role in the process of calcium signal transduction. Once bound to calcium, colmodulin acts as part of a calcium signal transduction pathway by modifying its interaction with various target proteins, target proteins like kinases or phosphatases. Next is colmodulin structure and its activation mechanisms. Colmodulin is a small, highly conserved protein that is 148 amino acids long. Colmodulin has two symmetrical globular domains. Just look at this first diagram. Two symmetrical globular domains, N domains and C domains, each containing a pair of EF hand matrix, EF1, EF2, and in C domains, EF3 and EF4. What are these EF hand motifs? I will tell you later. First, let me finish with this. So, each containing pair of EF hand motifs, which are separated by a linker region. This is linker region. For a total of four calcium binding sites, these green dot like structures are calcium ions, right? So, total four calcium binding sites. Two in each globular domain. Now look at this second diagram. This is structure of colmodulin. This first one is calcium free state means no calcium ions are attached to colmodulin here. So here halases that form the four EF hands are collapsed together 
means in a compact orientation and the sin central linker is disordered here and in the second case this is calcium saturated state here ef helices uh, ef hand helices adopt an open orientation roughly perpendicular to one another right here you can see here uh, calcium ions are attached here and um, uh, the colmodulin having uh, open orientation right now ef hand motifs ef hand is a protein motif that uh, consists of 30 amino acids that fold into a helix loop helix structure ef hand structure just look at this third diagram resembles a right hand fist uh, with the index finger and thumb extended the index finger um, represents the n terminal e helix and the thumb represent c terminal f helix so e f hand matrix currently three calcium uh, sorry three colmodulin uh, activation mechanisms have been observed in animal systems the first activation mechanism is relieving auto inhibition second is active site uh, remodeling and the third activation mechanism is colmodulin induced dimeration right so just look at this first diagram relieving auto inhibition here this is an inactive uh, form of an enzyme and this is active form when uh, here colmodulin binding site is adjacent to or within the auto inhibitory domain iad uh, sorry aid auto inhibitory domain so here this calcium colmodulin here colmodulin binding site is adjacent to or within this auto inhibitory uh, domain of the enzyme enzyme uh, for example colmodulin kinases so when colmodulin binds to target this is target site right when it uh, means colmodulin binding to target induces a conformational rearrangement that displaces the uh, pseudo substrate inhibitory domain and uh, allows full enzyme activity now you can see here when colmodulin binds to this auto inhibitory domain and it allows uh, means it displaces this pseudo substrate inhibitory domain and allows full enzyme activity right now second one active site remodeling upon colmodulin binding right inactive form of enzyme plus colmodulin here upon colmodulin binding a helical domain of uh, anthrax adenyl cyclase enzyme or gamma factor undergoes uh, a 308 rotation away from the catalytic core which stabilize this disordered loop and leads to enzyme activation right now third colmodulin induced dimeration here you can see here two colmodulin molecules tightly interact with two potassium channels this is target right two potassium channel domains of the calcium activated potassium uh, uh, calcium activated potassium channel upon calcium binding the c terminal ef hand uh, mediate tethering to the channel and the n terminal ef hands are responsible for calcium induced uh, dimeration leading to channel gating this is closed and here you can see open right now calcium colmodulin cascade in plants the normal concentration of calcium as i already told you within the plant cell is usually between 10 to uh, 100 nm during the brief influx of points the concentration increases to 1000 to 1 lakh nm the change in concentration causes the colmodulin to sense the calcium ions then bind them and initiate further signal transduction right and you have already seen this diagram colmodulin without without calcium and uh, here 
Cumulmodulin with calcium. So binding of calcium by EF hand uh, matrix causes an opening of N terminal and C terminal domains, right? Which exposes hydrophobic target binding surfaces. Just look at this diagram. Here two target binding surfaces are there. One this and second one is here. These surfaces then interact with complementary non-polar segments uh, on target proteins. Target proteins like kinases and uh, other transcription factors, right? So the flexible central uh, domain of colmodulin allows the protein to wrap around its target. Then binding of colmodulin induces conformational re uh, rearrangement in the target protein via mutually induced fit leading to changes in the target protein's function. So these proteins interact and modulate the activity of downstream target to relay the calcium masses and initiate biochemical, cellular or physiological responses. Just look at this uh, diagram. This is calcium signaling with colmodulin and uh, other calcium sensors like CMLs, right? In response to uh, environmental and uh, developmental stimuli. Uh, a transit elevation in the calcium concentration. This can be observed um, uh, in the cytosol by calcium sensors. Calcium sensors like uh, colmodulin, then CMLs, CMLs, colmodulin like proteins, then other like CDPKs or CBL. CDPKs, calcium dependent protein kinases, then CBLs, calcineurin B like proteins, right? So these uh, CDPKs and uh, CBL uh, all are uh, abundant in the case of plants, right? Because the uh, colmodulin kinases, these are best characterized uh, colmodulin binding proteins in animals and include a kinase cascade in which all members are regulated by calcium and colmodulin only. Uh, then by contrast, plants have a large number of CDPKs that contain colmodulin directly fused to kinase domain. Right, so this is uh, elevation in calcium or in concentration is uh, means observed by uh, these calcium sensors. Right, so uh, these proteins then interact and um, uh, modulate the activity of downstream target to relay the calcium masses and initiate. The bio biochemical or cellular or physiological responses, right? Uh, means here these sensors they interact with target proteins. Target proteins in membrane like membrane proteins, then uh, metabolic enzymes, kinases and phosphatases, RNA binding proteins, transcription factors, right? So when they interact with membrane proteins, they uh, means their response is ion uh, homeostasis. When metabolic enzymes, here metabolism or uh, hormone biosynthesis, when they interact with kinases or phosphatases, their response is phosphorylation. Uh, similarly, RNA binding protein or transcription factor, here the response is in the form of gene expression, right? So, in most cases, uh, their uh, interaction with colmodulin need to be uh, examined. And uh, if, if, if you are interested in plant physiology, then it could be your topic of research, right? So this is all about calcium uh, colmodulin cascade. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.